Hey guys, welcome back to the short video. Right now I'm going to show you how to make an upgrade GUI so you can upgrade your weapons. It will be further improved as you will have more weapons than one and I'm going to add a selection GUI. But right now all you want to do is um, is uh, download the thing in the description, import it into Roblox right here and it's going to be called the upgrade GUI. And uh, you're gonna do what it says. Replace with this. Uh, replace this with the old sword. So you're go to do that. You're gonna put it in the starter pack and ungroup it and uh, delete the old sword. Put this in the replicated storage really fast. And yes, and then ungroup it. But since it, never mind, I uh, go here and put this in the starter GY and ungroup it and really fast I'm going to show you how to make the other GUI faster so go here and do a border mode actually what you're going to do here is you're going to download the roundify plugin if I can find it right here roundify it and there you go that's going to make it a lot nicer and then here you're going sorry here we're going to add a border a darker green right there and then we're gonna do inset and then set it this to around five and no sorry I did this wrong wait did I do this wrong wait set this to zero let's try this again let's do an inset and then five and a darker green and okay it shows up on this one so maybe i have to do a middle okay sorry outline there we go and set that to 14 and set that to zero. Oh, n never mind go to inset and hmm wait let's set this to one again and here, inset, we're going to put this down to 5. There we go. That is it right there. And then on this one, sorry, this one, where it says start, you're going to put it on this one also. No, sorry, add another text label here. And put, uh, make it a lot smaller and make the background transparency to 1. I'm going to do that really quick and make it uh, have the text scaled and make it a lot smaller and I'm gonna just make that smaller right there and there you go right there and now um, say start right here and then I'm gonna make this a nice white and there we go let's uh let's start this right now so I'm gonna push, I'm gonna exit out of this, push play here. And in the next tutorial, guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a lobby where you can teleport into the dungeons, but push this and then go into the replicated storage. Right now, we don't have anything that's giving us some coins, which we will need. So go into coins and, oh, never mind, it's at 10. So there you go. Um, it's using all of them. So once it uses all of them, you'll see. Oh, sorry, this is anchored really quick, so you gotta unanchor that. I'm gonna go and unanchor this right now. And, yeah, I think that's unanchored. I am pretty sure this is... Wait, I gotta go to the blade. That's unanchored. Okay, there we go. Let's try to test this out again. And start this. Ah, oh, that's really weird. But anyway, okay, this is kind of annoying. I know why it's doing this. One second, guys, I'm going to fix the error. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, I am back, and I fixed the error. I'll put the new part inside the, um, the pack. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it out really quick. You can see, once we load in, that we got this new sweet GUI here that we're going to push. Got this upgrade GUI here, which I will push two times. And now, 
see damage 22, that's more than 10, as it usually is, and it will actually apply to you killing them. You can change the values however you want, but that's going to be uh, today's tutorial. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Next tutorial, we will be doing a lobby once this video hits at least like uh, maybe 10, uh, 10 likes. I'll see you guys in the next time. Peace.